Hello fellow YouTubers. I'd like to show you something I made to assist in painting. You see a little bit of paint on the board. It's a Lazy Susan attached to the center of a board. You can spray paint or, you know, hand paint, but this was designed for like a spray painter. This way you don't have to turn around and follow and go all the way around and go all the way around the thing. You can just turn it and spray what you like. Again, just the Lazy Susan attached to a board. Pretty simple, but you know, if you're painting outside, maybe you want to be upwind and not have the wind blowing back at you, the, the overspray. So you find yourself a good spot and have the wind go down and then you can spray and turn, spray, turn, spray and you stay in a prime location. But what's a guy to do? That can't be it. So I like to motorize everything. How about this one? You can still spray paint away and it'll turn for you slowly rotating you can just spray paint to spray paint under here is a barbecue rotisserie so I just took a wooden uh, peg and I didn't have the steel square peg that came with it so I just made one out of wood and blocked it up underneath Not ultimately pretty you see a bunch of hot glue there hot glue is my friend and uh, yeah, so you can just continue to... But there's even more to this. It can even make it better. You can take that off. This on here. Put the rotisserie... Or the Lazy Susan one on top. And it'll uh, do the same thing as the motorized one. But, simply just stop it. If you want to stop for a second in a pro in a really sweet spot that you're going to be working on, you just stop it. The motor keeps turning underneath, doesn't hurt it a bit. When you're ready to resume, just get your hand out of the way and it'll resume its rotation. So yeah, just picture spray painting, you know, I suggest doing spray painting outside, but uh, this will be uh, uh, hopefully a help to many people. I'll take uh, these off. It's just friction fit. There's the square peg at the bottom, the nasty hot glue. And here's the motor. It's just a barbecue motor, a uh, rotisserie for your barbecue. It had a metal plate and I replaced it with this uh, thin paneling. I saved the risers, the little uh, spacers under there. It gives it a little bit of space. But uh, yeah. So the barbecue rotisserie is turning. You just drop this down. There it goes. Wiggle it down in there so it's nice and tight. There we go. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you get to make one too.